The vehicles we drive, just like the engine of the country's economy, run on fossil fuel. But burning them creates climate change and releases pollutants that lead to early death, heart attacks and respiratory illnesses. Transport, traditionally perceived as a laggard when it comes to environmental matters, is currently one of the biggest sources of carbon emissions in Nigeria. Greening the industry is a major headache to players in the sector. At, at the rate at which uh, combustion engine vehicles are growing in Africa, if we don't do something about it right now, in another nine years, our emissions across Africa would grow to any, uh, somewhere between 2.3 and 2.4 billion gigatons of CO2 every single year. And that is bad for the environment, right? The folks at Max Africa then decided to form partnerships that will help boost efforts to reduce emissions in the industry. <laughs> and now, the founders are happy to show off their success to both the British High Commissioner and the Deputy High Commissioner in Lagos, revealing the third generation of the electric motorcycle. Which not only helps us tackle the most urgent problem that we're all dealing with on climate change, but also enables people to, uh, to live their lives more effectively. So young um, commercial drivers um, have been provided now with an end-to-end -end solution, a cheaper way to run their business, but also access to health insurance, to services to enable them to keep the, the vehicles on the road maintained and so on. For a company that started as a university project, the founders are mindful of the challenges of confronting scaling and innovation like theirs in an economy where most citizens not only have constraining purchasing power, but also lack constant power supply depending on polluting fossil fuels. Building the infrastructure to formalize the end-to-end the end -end process by which drivers are uh, onboarded onto our platform, uh, are assessed, are provided a high-quality vehicle, and are given the tools including technology, for them to operate um, efficiently and for them to be able to earn an income and therefore utilize that income to make repayments. As of now, there are limited charging points across the country for the riders, but the company says it is partnering many grid operators and renewable energy investors in the country to solve the problem. The pathway to successful e-mobility in Nigeria is pockmarked with many potholes, just like many roads in the country. Experts say with the right policies, political will and sustainable partnerships, the obstacles will be reduced to the barest minimum. Ayola Kasim, Channels Television News.